Hello, my name is Ken Prothero. I'm the coach of the Cabrini University women's soccer team. Hope this finds you and your family healthy and safe during these uncertain and unprecedented times. I'm excited the athletic department has given us the opportunity to do a virtual banquet, especially since we have 10 amazing seniors graduating this spring. It's been an honor and a privilege to coach this amazing group of young ladies. They have done so much for our program and the university. They've won 47 games in the last four years, including a program best 15 victories with 12 shutouts in their final season. They earned two trips to the NCAA tournament and captured a pair of conference championships, including our first title in Atlantic East this past fall. I think we all agree that it's fun to win, but it's a whole lot better to do with a special group like this that works so incredibly hard on and off the field. They embody the notion that winners are not people who never fail. Winners are people that never quit. I'm excited to see what they will do in the next stages of their lives. Uh, Caitlin Gillinger, our leading scorer and a nightmare to defend because of her speed and quickness. Every coach in the league is excited to see her graduate. I am not. Diana Van Sickle, who plays up top with more passion and heart than anyone in the league. Alex Garces, skillful forward who has scored so many big goals for us, including a fantastic finish for number four, John Hopkins, in the NCAA tournament last year, all while battling leg injuries. Brenda Stockland, powerful and intelligent defensive midi and back who did not let her injuries keep her from supporting her teammates every single day. Very happy to see her on the field in some very big moments this season. Carolyn Gormley, scrappy defensive center mid that has played nearly every position on the field except for goalie. What she lacks in size, she makes up for in tenacity and hard work. Rachel Wood, gritty playmaker who almost always wears a huge friendly smile, but occasionally without her competitive fire that she has always plays with. Scored the game winner versus Mary in her last game. The CSAC got a fantastic strike from the top of the box into the upper 90 to capture our championship title that year. Maddie Wojan, one of our team captains, outside back, can sprint for 90 straight minutes. Her ability to attack from the back changed our entire formation and style of play. There are not many teams that can handle a player that clears a ball near her own goal one moment, as in the opponent's box the next. Marissa Portelli, team captain, defensive player in the year in the conference, and one of the most determined, hardworking players I've ever coached. She plays 90 minutes every single game and never gets tired. Marissa was a big part of our team defense that let up a goal in the entire Atlantic East postseason. Lindsay Armanini, another player who battled injuries for years but never let that stop her from helping the team in any way she could. Extremely gifted with free kicks, Lindsay scored a game winner directly off a corner this past season in overtime. Seeing Lindsay and Brenna persevere through injuries and make it back in the field for big moments of our season was truly inspiring. Last but not least, our incredible manager, Grace Newton. She has done so much for our program. Anyone from our staff could miss a few days and the program wouldn't skip a beat. Grace isn't around for like 15 minutes and things just start falling apart. What she has brought to our team is just as important as every save, goal, assist, and defensive play out in the field. To my seniors, a few years down the road, I think back on the legacy you leave behind, and it's, it's a pretty big legacy. It'll be more than just this trophy. Our incredible adventure in Cape Town with mountains to climb and zip line down, wildlife, sharks, surfing, or attempts at surfing, Safari, but no Tiger King. Trying new foods, dancing, more dancing at the wedding in a hotel that we weren't really invited to. Interacting with the people, experiencing the history of South Africa, and lots of competitive soccer as well. I remember the kids' clinics, Lucy, team dinners, locker room chicanery, surprising cold or Hall of Fame induction, trashing my house every year on my birthday, cavathons, winter indoor, preseason, yes, preseason. Spending time together off the field, movie nights, talent shows, making PB&Js with Father Carl, bus rides, team Ubers, practices, more chicanery, games, the feeling when Man in the Mirror comes on over those loudspeakers of Edith Robb, and of course, the championships. I'm sorry the very last part of your college career was affected by corona, but will never diminish anything you have accomplished or the legacy you leave behind. At the end of our games, the team jogs across the field to show appreciation to the fans. I'd like to take that a moment to thank everyone at Cabrini and everyone in the athletic department for all you've done to support our seniors and our program throughout the years. Thank you to my amazing staff, Sammy, Britt, Dave, and Matt, as well as Cole and Huda that played major roles in seniors' careers and the growth of the women's soccer program. Thank you to all the parents, families, and fans. 
It's hard to say goodbye to the players, but it's also difficult to lose all the support you've given us over the years at home and on the road. Seniors, thank you for showing us all the Cabrini way. I will miss your resiliency, your passion, your sense of humor, your character, and your friendship. I truly appreciate all you have done for the soccer team, for Cabrini, for each other, and for me. The alumni team just got a lot stronger. I wish all of you the best of luck in your future endeavors. Once a Cav, always a Cav.